Hello, and welcome to Speak Up. I'm Sarah Davison, and I'm one of the presenters on the Speak Up team. But what is Speak Up? It's a unique method for learning English, because really the best way to learn a foreign language is to truly immerse yourself in it. Speak Up is a monthly print magazine with an audio CD and downloadable digital files and an exercise book to help you practice at your own pace. With Speak Up, you can learn vocabulary and improve your pronunciation and grammar by diving into the English that's spoken on the street, on the internet, in the media. Forget all about grammar rules and vocabulary lists. This is much more fun. It's a self-learning approach which offers immersion in English through written and spoken texts on topical and cultural themes, and it's original, accessible, and interesting. Learn English, reading and listening about trendy concepts and expressions on subjects that catch international attention, with articles and interviews to read and listen every month. Because when it comes to culture and entertainment, to technology, economics or politics, the world today speaks English. Speak Up is also a digital magazine. You can easily download it onto your phone or your tablet. The Speak Up digital subscription gives you the opportunity to improve your level of English wherever and whenever you wish, easily and comfortably. Now, let's see more closely just how Speak Up works. So, how to use Speak Up? As we've said, Speak Up is a monthly magazine, so each month you can buy Speak Up in newsstands or get it at home if you subscribe to the magazine. Speak Up has a history of more than 30 years, and every month it deals with many different subjects, entertainment and culture, technology, current affairs, politics and history, interesting places, people or landmarks. And always focused on the English-speaking world, so the magazine not only covers British culture and affairs, but also those of the United States, Ireland, Australia and New Zealand, etc. The first thing you need to know is that Speak Up is published in two editions, one for the Italian-speaking community and another one for the Spanish-speaking community. Both editions are basically the same regarding contents and regarding Speak Up's unique method of learning English on your own and at your own pace, only with a few differences, which we'll see later on. An important element of the Speak Up method is that all the articles come in audio form too. So, along with the magazine, you get a CD with some 20 tracks corresponding to all the articles of the month. All the articles are read to you by professional voice artists in perfect English and with different accents. So you can listen to the article while you read it, or just listen to the articles while you do any of your daily activities. So, very much like an audiobook. With the audio version of the magazine, you can improve your pronunciation and your listening comprehension. And if you don't use CDs anymore, no problem, because all the tracks and even some bonus tracks can be downloaded on MP3 format from our website. Another important element of the Speak Up monthly magazine is the booklet of exercises. This is a number of exercises that come in a separate booklet designed to practice your English after you've read and listened to each article. With these exercises, you can improve your vocabulary and your grammar, and both reading and listening comprehension. Let's see now more closely how to use the magazine. As you can see, in the contents page, you'll find a URL address. With it, you can download all the tracks plus some bonus tracks of each month's issue from our website. You just need to type the URL address on an internet browser and download the MP3 files from our website. Once you've downloaded the tracks, you can upload them to your phone or tablet and listen to the audios whenever and however you want. In the contents page, you can see that all the articles are classified according to their level of difficulty, ranging from A2, which is pre-intermediate, to B1, lower intermediate, B2, upper intermediate, to C1, which is advanced, and even up to C2, which is proficiency level. 
The level for each article is indicated according to a color code. Each article includes a flag to indicate the speaker's accent, be it American English, British English, and sometimes Irish, Australian, or Scottish. A very useful feature for each article is the glossary, where you will find a selection of words, the most difficult words, that appear in the article with their direct translation into Italian or Spanish. In this way, you don't need to use a dictionary to fully understand the article. A special box called Explains is used for those words that require a more thorough explanation. These may be an idiomatic expression, a curious use of language, or cultural or historical references, and so on. For example, in this article about the Netflix series Bridgerton, you will find an explanation about the meaning of a particular phrase in the text, which reads, Lady Whistledown has the pen power to make or break any reputation. In each issue of the magazine, you will find not only articles, but also many interviews, so you can listen to the actual person being interviewed and speaking actual English. In this article about London during Victorian times, for example, you can listen to the interview with the historian and author Judith Flanders, speaking about her book, The Victorian City. If we continue browsing through the magazine, we can see some of the other topics we covered in the March issue, such as the consequences of Brexit, which is an article from The Guardian. Speak Up has an agreement each month we publish one article from this British newspaper, together with the help of a glossary and explain boxes when needed. In addition to articles on many topics and interesting interviews, each month you can find other sections, such as a short dialogue with useful tips and expressions for everyday life. We also include an approach to a classic book of English literature. In this issue, for example, we analyse the importance and appeal of David Copperfield, the novel by Charles Dickens. So, our readers can, in this way, get a taste of the style of these masterpieces of world literature, including some excerpts of the novel, both in the original English and translated. Another section of the magazine is a short story, an entertaining way to practise your English with a little bit of original fiction. And towards the end of the magazine, readers will find a crossword adapted to an intermediate level, which is a fun way of practicing your English. In this page, there is also an explanation of the meaning and origins of a very English idiomatic expression. The Spanish version of the magazine is basically the same. The main difference being that the glossaries are in Spanish, so the direct translations are into Spanish instead of Italian. Another important element of Speak Up, in addition to the magazine and the audio CD, is the booklet of exercises called Work It Out. Here, you'll find exercises to practice your English, always related to the articles and contents of the corresponding issue. These exercises are also labelled according to their level of difficulty. In the exercise booklet, you will find a wide range of exercises. And, of course, the solution to all of them can be found at the end of the booklet. Only for the Spanish market, our readers have the option of receiving each month a DVD with a movie to practice their English, plus a glossary book. Each movie of the month can be watched with audio both in English and Spanish, and also with subtitles both in English and Spanish. This is a very entertaining way of learning English. So, for example, you can watch a movie like Downton Abbey with English or Spanish subtitles while using the glossary book to learn the meaning of the most difficult words of the movie. The book also includes some articles about the movie, its historical and cultural context, and the main themes the movie is about. If you want to know the meaning of a particular word or understand some of the historical or cultural context of the movie, you just need to look for the number on the top left-hand corner of the screen and go to your book to consult the word you're looking for. Finally, let me show you another way of enjoying Speak Up each month, which is the Speak Up app. 
available both for Android and Mac devices, you can download the whole magazine, including all the audios, on any smartphone or tablet. It's a very easy and convenient way of accessing the contents each month. As you can see here, in the app, you can also access past issues of the magazine and buy them separately, or you can choose the annual subscription. Once you download an issue, you can see it is adapted for mobile devices. You can browse the articles and then easily scroll and access all the elements of the article, like the glossary, and listen to the audience.